Hi Flosstube, I'm Sally, Stitchy Sally here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Uh, today it is a very dull, rainy 23rd of November 2022 and this is Flosstube number 38. A very warm welcome to my channel which is about cross stitch. If I have anything um, to do with life I'll leave it up to the, up. I'll leave it till the end. That's what I do. Um, and then you can just skip over it if you don't want to see it. Um, yeah, I've got the light on today, so the colours might not be great. Um, as I say, it's very dull. It's throwing it down and it's just miserable. So um, I'm going to get started. Um, I've got quite a bit to show you today. I've got some FFOs, I've got some finishes, I've got the usual whips, I've got a new start. Uh, a couple of planned new starts, I think a couple of planned new starts. Um, so I'm going to start by showing you my book of days for November. And there we are. Um, some days I've stitched on two things because if I have got done with some housework in the morning I will go and um, watch a bit of floss tube in an afternoon and stitch. I've got the new starts down this side. I've stickered it up with uh, poppies and there's a soldier there for Armistice Day. I can't see what I'm doing. So yeah, that is my book of days for November. Sorry, I'm just gonna... I never get this right. I never get my laptop in there decent position. Right, we will move on now to uh, FFOs. My plan, whether this works or not, is a different matter. My plan is to get my finishing pile as far down as I possibly can before the end of the year. Um, I am getting to the stage now where it's mostly framing, um, but I am hoping to go to the range next week and uh, pick up some frames. So, so my first FFO is Laurie Holt, Eat, Sleep, Stitch, Repeat, uh, which was one of my pieces for Cross Stitch Camp in the summer. And that's stitched, I think it's just, I think it's a 28 or 32 count, not entirely sure. Looks like it could be a 32 actually. Um, white, antique white, something like that. And I used a silks for you um, that I won in Leslie's giveaway, Leslie Harley's giveaway last year. So I've just backed that with some of the fabric that was in the package that came from the lovely lady that sent me all the, all the lovely fabrics. And just a simple pillow finish because it's, it's about all I can muster these days. <laughs> But anyway, it's done. Let's put that over there. And then the next finish, and I do have to uh, pop a hanger on this. Um, it's Prairie Schooler um, 2019 Santa. Um, so I've just backed it with some red and white, it's more cream actually, ticking, and just done a ruched ribbon edging. I know this ribbon doesn't match the red here but I'm just trying to use what I've got in my stash rather than buy anything new. And then my next FFO is, get it the right way up, Erica Michaels Stitch All The Things which was a sal hosted by um, myself and Dawn Frosty X Stitch and we had a few others joining in. Um, I think everybody's finished. I'm sure I know Lane's, Lane's finished hers, Ellie Wally Stitch, because I watched her floss tube yesterday. Um, and I know Dawn's finished hers, Amy's finished hers. I think Barb's finished. And I'm sure Mouse has finished. So yeah, we've all finished. <laughs> so I've just backed it and pop this fabric on for 
from my stash and I had the um, tape measure trim vintage and uh, whatever it is that trim um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that. Got the buttons on. So that's all for This actually is much bigger than I expected. Do you know when you're stitching anything, this is huge. But yeah, really, really like that. And then my next fully finish is, uh, it's Plum Street Samplers, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. Um, I didn't stitch the whole thing. I can't remember what I've left off. Because um, it is a few years ago since I did this. I think there was, I know Lainey and I think Barb also, I think we all stitched it together. And <laughs> we'd about had enough by the time we'd finished, to be honest. There is a lot of stitching in this. Um, so all I've done is I've popped it on some card and then backed another piece of card with that, sewn them both together. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then I think, I don't know whether you can see that, some cording. I think that was round a gift maybe or something that I received from possibly Chris. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to reuse this. So I just popped it around there. So that'll just I'll just stand that up. And then my final FFO, and I'm hoping this isn't going to drop to pieces because I was only sorting this and gluing it yesterday, is Plum Street Samplers Always Remember. And um, I've personalised this with uh, my granddad's cousin's initials, who um, died of wounds at the Battle of Arras in 1917. Um, so I, instead of doing the eagles, I added the dove, added the Union Jack, and I just added a, 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 a thing, <laughs> basket or whatever of flowers. So I did have to buy um, poppy fabric because I didn't have anything. I knew what I wanted and I knew what, that I wanted poppies so I had to order that from Wool Warehouse. And that's just back in it as well. So I'm going to find somewhere to hang that. So that's, that's all my FFOs and then I have three finishes um, and I'd, I'd finished this strip from the hats, God Save the Queen, Long Live the King freebie, last time that I filmed. And I have now finished the top. Um, so that was stitched on 25 count vintage sand, I think, or it might be marble. I can never remember which is which. Um, and I'm ready to make it up. Um, all ready to do it now. Um, I had got this sewn together on my sewing machine but it wasn't together properly. It didn't it didn't meet properly so um, I shall try that again. <laughs> I might sew it by hand if I can but I'm not I'm not the greatest at sewing by hand. And then my next finish is Barbara Anna Designs Dreaming of Anger stitched on 28 count navy fabric using all the cold four DMCs. Now I am gonna say I did not enjoy stitching on this fabric. My stitches are not neat. But it's what she's done. I've been working extra on it because I wanted to get it finished so that Sally um, at uh, Flossy Sews and Grows um, and I can start Christmas window because Sally has joined me with my Barbara Anna Wednesdays. Um, so there we go. Sorry, just like there you go. There we go, that's better. So there she is, all finished. And I absolutely love her. And I think she's going to be framed. I'm going to have a look for a frame, I think, for her. 
So really, really pleased with that. I did enjoy stitching it, but I just, I just did not like, like the fabric. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Sally and I will be starting Christmas window tonight. And then my next finish is Blackbird Designs What Remains, which is uh, the Tuesday night BBD cell that I do with Bab and Mouse. There you go, Mouse, got it right again. So I'm stitching this on, it's 35, 36 count Winter Moon by Zweigart, and I'm using all the called four threads except for WDW Schneckley. Um, I swap that out for whiskey instead. And there it is. All done. So as you can see, I have got my parents' initials at the bottom, the year they were married. Then I've got my sister's initials and my initials and obviously the year that I stitched it. I am absolutely chuffed to bits with that. Really is pretty. Loved every single stitch of it. And I even, look, I even did the satin stitch at the bottom. I wasn't going to do it. And then I thought, no, I'm going to do it because I don't like it without. So absolutely chuffed with it. Absolutely love it. So those are my finishes and obviously because we have finishes I have a new start. So this is from the Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments 2010 and, and it is this one here. And it's JBW Designs French Country Star. So this is going to be Freddy's Star. And while I, I think I'll thank you so much for all your lovely comments um, on my last floss tube, I'm not going to say too much. So yeah, this, this is going to be Freddy's Star. So I'm stitching this on, it's a, I don't know what the fabric is, it's just some that I've got in my stash and it's stitched one over one. So <laughs> that's my start. I'm really sorry, it's not, it's not great today and it does, it does kind of spoil the appearance of my, of my video I'm afraid. So I'm using, um, DMC B5200 for this. So that was just that was just my start last night after I'd finished what remains. So then I'll just try and put his name on the bottom. Don't know how I'm gonna do that. But I will. <laughs> put that back in there. Right, onto whips. So the first whip is Blackbird Designs Willow House, which is out of print. Lainey very kindly passed this on to me quite a few years ago. And this is um, the piece that I'm stitching with Lainey uh, for our Saturday night stitch along. Um, I did a conversion online to DMC, uh, but I didn't really like how the the conversion for the house was. I don't even know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right, the house should have been stitched in Confederate Grey and the online conversion for Confederate Grey was 302, 
3023-3032 and I didn't like it. So and it just kind of looks more blue on the on the picture. So I went through my hand eyes and I picked out Gast Liberty for the house instead and I really like that. Really like how that's looking. So I've nearly finished with the house. It's slow going. <laughs> so now that I've finished um, what remains, I'm going to stitch on this on a Tuesday as well as a Saturday. Um, I do like to try and wind down as the years, you know, sort of come into a close. I know that, you know, I do have some planned new starts for next month. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of trying not to start too much and just try and get on with what I've got. So my next, oh, sorry, excuse me a minute. Throwing things on the floor. Look in there. So next whip is Cottage Garden Sampling to Christmas Eve, uh, which I'm stitching on a Sunday evening. I'm using the Cold for Gast and the Cold for DMCs. And I'm stitching this on Fort Count Vintage Country Mocker, and I forgot to say Willow House is also uh, Fort Count Vintage Country Mocker. And here we are. Just look at that cape. Isn't that cape fabulous? I've got to fill in the white yet on this bit and then fill in um, whatever that colour is on there. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, so really, really enjoying that. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I don't think it'll be finished for Christmas because <laughs> there's a, an awful lot of stitching in it. But you never know. You never know. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Poor postman is absolutely wet through. And he's desperately trying to keep stuff, you know, the post that he's delivering dry. He says, my equipment's useless. There is no wonder the postman are fed up. Messing. I'm really sorry. I'll just keep that there for a minute because I've just got something to show. Well, that won't show you in there. Um, right, next whip. Go to answer the door and then I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, next whip is my Friday Night Sheep Stitch with Bab, and this is With Thy Needle and Thread, Bells of Christmas. I am really sorry about the quality of this video. It's not, not great under this light at all. Um, and I'm stitching this along with Barb. I'm stitching this one at the moment. I'm hoping to get them both done and both finished for Christmas. Um, I'm using a mixture of DMC. Well, actually, I'm yeah, I'm using a mixture of DMC, and I've got um. Classic Colour Wax, Poblano, Pepper, and I think it's w, yeah, WDW Oscar. And I'm stitching these on 40 count pearl grey linen by Swigart, and that's where I'm up to. I really love this. It's such a sweet little design. So. Hopefully I might be close to a finish this week on that one. <clears throat> and then, do I have something in here? I think this is my final whip. Oh, and 
it is Stitches Through the Years Black Sampler for Black Sampler November. And I'm stitching this in uh, 310. And I'm using 25 count vintage marble and I'm stitching it one over one. And that's where I'm up to. So yeah, that's where I'm up to. And I just love it. I love how dainty it looks on this fabric. Really, really do like it. Um, I'm debating whether to carry on stitching it after November or whether to actually put it away for a bit. I don't I don't like to put things away. Um but we'll see. Um I might just decide to put it away and then get it out again um, in the new year. So that, whoops, is my final whip. So, what's that? Yep. Yeah. Um, so this this one is uh, that's the fabric that I've got for dancer, which is um, I'm going a bit off tangent here, but just just bear with me because it's in the bag, so I might as well do it now. Um, yeah, this is the the fabric that I'm using for um, Barbara Anna Designs. Dancer, which is going to be my uh, winter stitch for the seasonal sal that Lynn um, is uh, is hosting, Lynn the Lancashire Stitcher, um, and that's the call for as well. And then, as I said, tonight, um, Sally, uh, who is Flossy Sews and Grows on FlossTube and also on Instagram. And if you haven't watched Sally yet, do go and, do go and have a look. Um, so we're starting this, Christmas Window by Barbara Anna Designs. And that's from the latest issue of the PNPS, P PNPS magazine. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And it's all just, uh, it's all stitched in DMCs as well. So, um, I, have <laughs> I've been having a right going on because obviously um, I have all my threads either in floss bodies or um, on rings. And then when I'm kitting up and I'm looking for other, for, for threads and they're not in my, my boxes I'm, I'm looking for them through my projects and missing them somehow so I've just I've cut up postcards and I've just put on um which project the thread if, if I'm missing a thread which project it's in so that I can find it easily <laughs> so I'm stitching this on or I will be stitching it on 32 count raw silver I got from patchwork rabbit And the fabric for dancer came from Patchwork Rabbit as well, which I'd ordered it last time I filmed, but I hadn't. I don't think it had come, or it maybe it might come, it might have come that day that I was that I'd filmed. Um, yeah, so that is a start for tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. Really looking forward to starting that. And then um, I did mention last time that Chris and I do a December sal. That we've done it for about fourteen years or so. Um, and we're starting Stitches Through the Years, The Joy of Winter, which is a freebie. And if you go back to my last floss tube, it is in the notes. Um, a link to a link tree. Yeah, a link tree um, that'll take you to a freebies. So I'm going to stitch that on 35, no, Yes, 35, 36, 36 can't like mocker. 
to, I'm hoping that the white will show up okay on that. I'm sure, I've done white stitching on it before, so it should be okay. Um, and after, uh, one of the comments on my last floss tube uh, from Judith, ex-stitch librarian, um, she was asking if her and her Instagram, some of her Instagram friends could join us. So I messaged Chris and I said, would you, you know, would you be okay with, with people joining us? And she said, yep, yeah, the more the merrier. So um, we do have quite a few people joining us. Um, we've got, uh, obviously, Judith, ex-stitch librarian. We have got Yoanita, stitchy things. We've got her friend, Tony. I um, hope I've pronounced that right. Um, we've got Laura, who is La La D Stitches on Instagram. We've got Alyssa, who is AJ Stitch. We've got, I think, Sarah, who is Homemade by Sarah W. And we've also got Yaz, who is Yasmin's Made with Love. And I think, I think that's everybody. And if I've missed anybody out, I am really sorry. So we're starting that on the 1st of December. Or, you know, just start it on or around. If you want to join us, please do. And then, I don't know whether I mentioned this last time. I can't actually remember. Um, I was going to have a big birthday start and stitch it up to my 60th birthday next year. But I've changed my mind. <laughs> because I don't know what I want to do for my 60th birthday. So, I have decided that my birthday start is going to be... Oh, sorry, I forgot. The hashtag for the Joy of Winter, if you want to join us, is the Joy of Winter Cell. I know it's very original, isn't it? But it was just a kind of a, a, a quick thing. So... This is going to be my birthday start this year. So it's Modern Folk Embroidery Moonshine Cabin. And I'm using the DMC subst substitutions. Oh, I'm very sorry if you can hear that. That's my stomach rumbling. <laughs> I think I'm hungry. Um, and um, Charlie, Stitch with Charlie Feathers. Um, is stitching this so I have decided because hairs looked so good on this to stitch it on 32 count charcoal grey Marana I'm hoping I'm hoping to god that I'm going to be able to see this okay I can see 32 count <laughs> but obviously it's it's dark I mean it's not as dark it's not as dark as the navy so but then again the navy was the navy was um 28 count but anyway hopefully i mean i might not do a lot at a time but that's fine so um i haven't got all the threads there because they're in other projects but those are just some of them um and i've got them on the my thread drop that thread thread drop thread ring that Chris did me for my birthday last year. So yeah, if you would like to join me in my birthday cell, the hashtag is, and I'll put these down below. Stitchy Sally's Moonshine Cabin Birthday Cell. <laughs> yeah. So if you if you fancy, if you fancy joining me, please do. Um, so that is that one I will be starting um, right and I'm going to have a bit of a giveaway I don't know whether anybody will be interested in it but I'll do that in a minute um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about if you have watched uh, Rachel Stitchy Rach's latest floss tube um, and if you haven't why haven't you watched her Go and watch it, please. Um, so there are a few of us that have got B 
big birthdays next year. Um, so that is like big birthdays that end in a zero. I think I'm the oldest. And yeah. Um, I don't feel like I'm the oldest, but but yeah. Um, so I know that um, Stitchy Rich has got a big birthday next year, as has Jenny and Sarah. So Sarah has uh, put out this hashtag, which is Big Birthday Cell 2023. So the idea is that you, you know, obviously you start something for your big birthday. Um, I'm going to have a long wait because <laughs> I've got over a year to wait yet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's cross stitch SJW, but I'll put it down below to her Instagram because it's a bit, it's kind of no vowels in it. So yeah, I'll I'll put that down below. So yeah, Stitchy Rage talks about it in her um, floss tube. Um, I know Sarah's starting. I think it's a Gecko Rouge full coverage. Um, I think Jenny's starting two Mirabilias. I don't think Rachel said what she was starting. There might have been others as well that have maybe got a big birthday next year that are going to join in. I know Beth, the steadfast stitcher, she's got a big birthday. She's the same age as me, I think. Um, but she's doing 60 new starts. Well, I'm, I'm certainly not doing 60 new starts. <laughs> Good on anybody that can do that. I know Lee, creatively, she's done 50 this year for her 50th. Well, she hasn't done 50 yet, but that's the plan. Um, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I did think about a long dog. I've seen a couple of long dogs that I maybe might like to do, but one of them is so big and I don't think I don't think I could do it. Um so I am looking at I can't remember what it's called. Happy Ever After maybe. But I don't know. I'm not hundred percent sure yet and I don't want to go buying something and then regretting buying it. Um and I still keep going back to All Creatures by Barbara Anna. Uh, but there are a couple of, I think the one was a class piece and one was maybe a exclusive kit to somewhere. The one, one I think will be coming out possibly early next year. And the other one is, um, it's a With Thy Needle and Thread. And I think that might not come out before my birthday that might be one that might have been one I might have done but um, we'll see I'm not necessarily going to go for a big piece I might just go for something um, small but we shall see um, so I think as regards stitching and stitching plans I think that's it oh, and while I think well I, yeah um, my birthday start will be on the 12th of December if you'd like to join me um, wait, I'm just going to go quickly yep right now I don't know whether anybody will be interested in this when I was going through my basket of things that needed finishing um, I came across something that I stitched in 2020 I believe yep 2020 um, now I've decided that I don't want to keep it it's um, I can't remember the name of it it's a heartstring sampler one and you make it up and it goes over your chair arm and I've decided that I don't want it because it's just going to slip off my chair arm I know I'm going to knock it off I'm going to do <laughs> I'm going to do all sorts it's never going to be on my chair arm so it needs making up, but I do have the finishing instructions printed off from um, Beth's site. So, if I can just... So, it looks like that. 
so this this um, it's the stitch piece that you'll be getting and you'll have to make it up yourself if you want it uh, if nobody wants it I don't know what I'll do with it but anyway it's there so it's got my initials on it if you want it and you don't want my initials you can just pick it unpick it and put your own on so it says count your blessings every day so if you would like that and I am going oh, I can't make a note of it because I've got a pen handy <laughs> if you would like that use the word blessings please that's B L E W S I N G S blessings plural um, so yeah if you would like it um, UK only please because it is getting a bit expensive to post stuff um, don't use the word giveaway contest anything like that um, you need to be over 18 to to be able for me to ask for your address um, I think that's everything I think that's all the usual spiel, isn't it? I don't do giveaways very often, so I tend to not remember. But anyway, yeah, if you would like that, use the word blessings and I will pick a winner um, in a couple of weeks. I should be back in two weeks, um, hopefully, unless something goes wrong. Um, so, yeah, that is everything. Um, I would just like to say, again, a massive thank you to everybody who watches my floss tubes, who leaves me lovely comments, uh, either on my stitching or, you know, life stuff, Freddie last time, all your comments, all the people who said they'd, they'd missed him, um, twittering in the background. Um, yeah, it means, it means everything, so thank you. Thank you so, so much for sticking with me and everything. Um, I'm not far off 900 subscribers, so it would be nice um, if you know of anybody who might like to watch me um, so yeah nothing to report um, on the kitchen debacle <laughs> um, I know all the, the report from the soil samples that they took and everything has now gone to our insurance company so we're just waiting to see what happens with that um, so yeah I think that is that is the lot for today so thank you so much for watching um take care everybody happy stitching and i will see you next time bye bye